Hello YouTubers, Roman Key Jr. here, and in today's video, we're going on the hunt. So there is a brand new type of event in Apex Legends called Apex Chronicles, and the first one is featuring Bloodhound, and it is called Old Ways New Dawn. So as you can see in the top right hand corner here, uh, the chapter first chapter is go to World's Edge and find the White Raven as Bloodhound. Now if we look at the story tracker, you can see there is certain time gated chapters, so the next chapter opens up in two days, 18 hours hours the third five days 18 hours and then the finale five days 18 hours and if you complete the entirety of the chronicle you get three bloodhound packs that are rare so i would imagine you can get at least blue or higher rarity items for bloodhound so we're going to jump into world's edge right away seeing as it is the map on rotation this can only be done on world's edge as you can see chapter one world's edge so i'm going to go no fill because i don't want to uh, drag uh, random teammates into the hunt, uh, which is one of the reasons why I'm surprised they kind of introduced this. It kind of makes it so only one person per team can actually hunt it. And if people don't really have a pre-made squad, you, you're kind of dragging, you know, the teammates into that or you're leaving them, you know, as a duo instead of being a trio to go and hunt the White Raven. So I'm kind of split on whether or not it's a good idea to make this uh, Apex Chronicles into live games, but you can always just no fill and go about your merry day. But the thing is, I don't think any, I don't think everyone's gonna do that. So yeah, some people might end up just uh, you know playing as a duo because their random is Bloodhound and he's gone off to chase the White Raven. So it's kind of not really clear where you need to go to find the Raven, so you kind of got to do it by yourself. There are certain spots on the map where the Raven spawns, but it's a little bit different for everybody. Oh, they're literally just marked on the map, so I, I just have to go there. I didn't think they would just give you the location right off the bat. I thought you'd, you would actually need to, you know, go around, look for the White Raven. But this is a lot easier than I thought it would be. So there's probably going to be quite a few people here, as there is always a lot of people. Um, this is probably going to go very, very poorly. So we need to track him. Oh boy. This is not good. I suspect I will die quite a few times trying to complete this challenge. Hopefully get a little bit of something to defend myself with. Over there. Okay, so we're following an injured prowler it looks like. If I scan, does it do anything? Oh my god, that was laggy. I feel like this might be frustrating to do. Being completely honest. Probably gonna be easier if you do it in a full pre-made squad because you can have teammates that kind of defend you. But if you're doing it this by yourself... Uh, not a lot of people are going to be like that Octane that I just saw. <laughs> oh, there it is. Oh, and that is something else that is neat, though, is if you do get killed uh, mid-hunt, uh, the progress you've gotten already is actually saved. So that's something that is nice. You don't have to start over every time uh, because obviously you probably will get killed more often than not while trying to do this thing. Okay, so we're almost there. Ah, there he is. Hello, friend. Have you chosen the exile? Tracking complete. That was it. Is that actually it for the first chapter? Really? You have chosen exile. Okay. Nothing else. Okay. Well, that was <laughs> that was pretty quick. Okay, so that really was it for the first chapter. It was literally just a very very short. Uh, tracking of the White Raven. Okay. 
and you get a little bit of uh, stars for your battle pass when you do complete this. Um, okay, I guess that's it for the first chapter. So yeah, just all you have to do is really open your map and look at where the raven is. Uh, good luck trying to do this in a live game. Hopefully you don't get killed too often. And if you do, well, at least your progress is saved. Curious to see where this will go for other characters. Um, because from what I could tell from the tweet yesterday, uh, they do plan on doing this for quite a few characters to deepen the lore or something. So um, that's chapter one done. Let me know what you think of this new event type in the comment section down below. Do you think it's a good idea? Do you kind of swing and miss kind of thing? Uh, hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as always, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.